mostly an idea, an inspiration that I sit down with, but um, that never holds long. You know, only if I have uh, something already finished and a vocalist comes and sings on it, then, then we already have a premeditated idea. But if I start doing stuff myself, I have an idea, come sit down, 15 minutes later, that idea has been tumbled over by another idea, you know. So I'm not really a concept worker so much, you know, which I like. I like to have this this um, childish kind of approach to not being um, obligated to make each tune a tune. Yeah, I throw so much shit away, you know, still start something and eh, nah, it's not good. Toss it, start something new, you know, and I like that. This way I don't get stuck on one thing, you know, that's pre premeditate, always want to do this. Maybe if I would have done it that way that I always got stuck on one thing, maybe I would be a, um, what do you call these big teacher names that made trillions and shit. Yeah, I mean, you know, always do the same, but I might have been unhappy creatively, you know. So I'd rather hang in my yard and be happy and creative. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> I'm doing a Stereotype album. Um, had a whole bunch of shit already. And I released that now as in form of EPs and singles on the Crunch Time label, digitally. Because um, I, I didn't feel like it's worth um, f collecting and releasing in form of an album because it everything I did there is kind of, for me, obvious and um, it didn't... It's not something I let sit and, and wait. This is something that needs to go out now. My next album, the Stereotype album, that I started thinking of now, probably is gonna go in the direction that the last one did with a lot of soul singers and shit, yeah. Probably. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see, you know. I sometimes work myself beyond the, the healthy limits where when, when I get really creative and it hits me, forget eating, forget drinking, don't sleep, stay in the stu studio for too long, almost get manic, you know, like look bad. People be like, oh dude, what's the matter? You, you look bad, you look unhealthy. It's like, I don't know. And then there's these times where I don't have any ideas now. Get back to barbecuing and stuff, you know, the more important things in life. <laughs> so I have no timetable. I wish I could um, demand my creativity, but it don't work. This is like my own little digital label that doesn't feed Steve Jobs or anybody else out there, you know? <laughs> It's a very, it's a, a humble little label that just feeds the artist involved, you know. And I opened it on Bandcamp, which is um, then going to be only available there. But at least it stays all very overseeable. There's not hundreds and thousands of little people that take something out, you know. I don't have to wait for for it being added up and sent to my accountant. It's, it's just simple, easy, and people should check it out. It's um, um, crunchtime slash bandcamp.com. Or you go on the SoundCloud side and get some free tunes, and from there you can go to the Bandcamp site. I've been in this music, music business for a while, and um, I've just um, want to have this control basically because there's a lot of sharks there's a lot of people who try to take advantage of artists you know it's like the crazy thing about the music business you have this very uh, pure and and um, soulful trade you know where your heart and soul goes into and then you have 
these these really corrupt people that try to take advantage and, and just make money with that and you know it's a funny mixture so this band camp and la own label thing takes all these factors away these you know where it, where it can be a risk It's all about networking, it's all about um, looking at, at making your own kind of quality, you know, not, not trying to, to do stuff that the next one is doing. If you do your stuff in quality and good, if you network right, you will get people to take, be aware of your uh, label and your music, you know. Eventually people will catch on to it, you know. So there's not a big difference if they would go and have to look, if the people that know my shit go to iTunes and buy it, or if they go to to, to my Bandcamp account, it's not a big difference for them, because my music you don't find by mistake. You have to look for it, you have to say, oh, I want this stuff and I want to hear it, and you'll find it, it's no problem, uh, no difference for the, for the person to go to iTunes or Bandcamp for me, it's a difference. That's why I'm doing it, you know? But I never thought that people find my music on, on all these download platforms by mistake and go like, oh, I like that, you know? So it's not important for me to be on Beatport and all the other things, because, um, yeah, my Man Recordings does that with my shit, G-Stone did that with my shit. There's heaps of that stuff out anyway, you know? But if people want to get the new stuff and the really good stuff, they better start searching and look for where my shit is. And people do it, so that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah, that was my first record player, it's a Dorans. My father gave me that record player. It's a Dorans and um, I select, I collected like records early, you know, I started buying stuff, really weird stuff, you know, not triggered by any kind of fashion back in the day, you know. I mean, I bought first Earth, Wind and Fire record, I bought even two of them of the same, same record twice, just because I loved it so much. It was Zoom by The Temptations, you know, and Afterwards, I, I've kind of thought that this record player that my father gave me brought me to the point to appreciate music, to even um, get what music does, you know. Music um, underlines moments in your life by creating a, a feeling that can be reproduced by listening to it years later. You hear that song? again and you you being put back into this place you know and this is kind of what the first record player did to me to 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 get this 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 emotional attachment to music that's why i put it right there <laughs> <laughs>